Hello. Welcome back. Kirsty and Sammy. Part two. <laughs> part two and the cat who is stoned on candy. Okay. <laughs> so in this part, we're going to run through the premium starter kit, which is the most cost effective way to get oils into your house. Um, and as I said in the last video, you need between 10 and 20 oils of a really comprehensive kit. And in this one, you get 12 oils and a diffuser. Now, the, there's a couple of diffusers you can choose from. This one here is the Dewdrop, and this costs £153 with shipping, okay? Now, the Aria over here, beautiful, it changes colour, it has spa sounds, but it is a bit more of an investment. It is £240, gorgeous, gorgeous diffuser. On its own, it costs about £200. 10, I want to say so it's a crazy deal like these yeah you're getting all of these and it works out we've, we've done prices. the maths before haven't we and it works out about 50% off of wholesale price to yeah buy, buying them in cool. this kit so it's amazing now people quite often have a misconception about diffusers and they think that this heats up the oils it doesn't okay so I'm going to really quickly show you what this this is so this dewdrop comes with a an outer shell and the inner funnel okay and then inside is a little well for water. Now, to use your diffuser, you simply fill up the bottom with water, we just use tap water, up to the red line. Okay, don't go above it, otherwise it won't work. And then we add in the oils that we fancy diffusing. Now, the diffuser and the R need different amounts of oils because they're different sizes. So, you need between seven and nine drops in this one, and you can have up to 20 in that one, but I only do about 15 because I'm stingy, okay? <laughs> so, you fill up your water, you pop the lid on, and then you plug it in. Now, these diffusers have recently had a revamp. Oh, and, check this out. Oh, the lights on this diffuser, there's a, um, what's the word? Candle flicker. Mm. Red. Oh, I love this. The my orange one's gorgeous. My That's like a yellow. You can't see it so good on here. Green. It's like white blue. <laughs> white blue. That's, this is a really lovely blue. It doesn't look so nice on there. It doesn't. Purple. We well, can have it off. Now I'm just going to leave it on candle flicker because that looks cute right there. Anyway, mm -hmm. so that's your diffuser. And when you put your oils in your diffuser, there's a tiny little silver round plate and it vibrates really, 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 really super, super fast. And it, it basically... Um, vaporizes the oils with the water so that they come out in tiny tiny particles that our bodies can ingest so we breathe them in okay there's no heat involved so this the the vapor that comes out of here is cold it's no danger it's not going to hurt you um and it means that the oils aren't getting heated up so none of their medicinal properties are lost okay and that's everything for diffusing do you want to start with one of your yeah. oils? So obviously this is and these are the 12 oils that you'll get in your starter kit. And yeah. there's a breakdown of all of them in here. I'm, I think we'll take it in turns and do it quite quickly because I don't want to babble on. So first one, uh, Copaiba. This is great. It's like anti-inflammatory. So um, this is excellent for um, yeah any sort of anti-inflammatory usage. It is brilliant for um, teething for children. I recently, yeah. going to tell you my story, ate a chicken wing, just come off the barbecue, too hot. Burnt my top of my mouth. Didn't really know that I'd done it until a bit later and it was really sore. Drop of that on, I think I might have done that three times. Boom, gone. Um, brilliant, this oil yeah. here. Good for pain, like painful joints, really mood boosting in it. And I take it every day, drop under my tongue to help with my nerves and stuff. So, right. what's that? Now, peppermint. Peppermint is a really fabulous oil. It's so cooling this time of the year. Mm. We've been using it in our um, cooling spray. Cooling sprays. It's fab for headaches. I put it a bit of my temples. It is lush in cooking, isn't it? We can make brownies, brownies and brownies. stuff. Mint, um, chocolate mint brownies. <laughs> so in our little uh, leaflet here, it says it's good for digestive support, appetite control, and focus. So there's a blend um, that you sometimes diffuse to help you, uh, like, sort of wake up so orange lemon and peppermint is amazing helps you focus if you need to get your get your head together so that it's is also a great um little drop in your hands rubbing together if you've got any sort of sinus oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that um sinus issues, issues. yeah really cleansing right mm. next uh lemon lemon's awesome 
Um, again, you can have that in, in your water, you can drink it. Obviously, a drop of that in water every morning, you know, really will boost um, your <sighs> metabolism. Um, it is, it's, it's a citrus um, oil, so it is really uplifting. Um, yeah, great, great. Goes in all of our booster. cleaning products. Yeah, it's great at getting um, like sticky goo off of things. It's yeah, it's lush. Yeah, it is. It's really, really. So if you've taken a label of something and it's got that horrible mm. after sticky, rub a bit of this on. It's gone. Mm. Brilliant. Goes in our immune roller. Goes in. It's, it's pretty much our, goes in everything. It's part of our um, uh, allergy support. So lavender, lemon, and peppermint are have literally saved me this this summer. I haven't had to use. Any antihistamines? Because I use my hay fever cleanse. So what have you given me? Uh, yeah. Frankincense. Baby Jesus' birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> now, I love the smell of frankincense now. Didn't like it when it first when I first got it. I thought it smelled like churches and didn't really like it. Churches? Yeah. I smell it. it. Smells like churches. Now, this is really... Just smell pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it smells yeah. like the... Um... The, the church seats, yeah. Um, now it's really good for emotional support. It's really grounding, which means like it helps you to be calm. This is in our nighttime blend in the diffuser every single night. Mm, Love it. Yeah, it's it is, great it for is, skin. It nice. It's really good for wrinkles and fine lines. You can put it on your boobs, like you can frank your boobs, and it really helps your boobs um, be healthy, healthy boobs. Um, and it's in our immune support as well. It's, it's talking about boobs again in this video. Everybody loves boobs. Um, <laughs> Two girls, four boobs. Oh, B's got boobs. God. How many boobs do cats have? B? B. She's not part of this, she's two stars. <laughs> Jesus. So her. there we go. That is um, Frankincense. Love it. Right, and then last one we're going to talk about. Uh, we could probably talk about this one. Anyway, yeah. this is like super, super oil, lavender. Mm. Um, this has got so many uses. Um, I'll just read what we've got here. In our so emotional support um, it's calming great for skin it is it is good for sleep like I don't care what anybody says like this is good for sleep um, I also as well I um, we went to Italy um, a little a while ago, ago and a year ago. oh god um, and we were walking through um, a square in um, in, in Ostuni. A market and, square, not a shape square. Yeah, a market square. Uh, I had flip-flops on and um, there was a, a, some stone that was just really, really slippy and I slipped on it and my foot went right through the front of my flip-flop and I just like, just went straight into the curb and I literally ripped my toe open and um, it was just <laughs> pumping out blood. Sorry about that. It was gross. Um, I freaked whipped out. out the lavender. All I had on me was baby wipes and lavender. Yeah. So I cleaned it up with a baby wipe, threw some lavender on it. Did, uh, did it sting? It, it did not sting. And actually, any time that I use it for any of my wounds, because I get injured a lot, um, it just doesn't sting. And and yeah, the it's point of that story, the okay. story is that it just it it. It, it really healed it up, like, yeah. very quickly. It's really cleansing and antiseptic, and mm. I've used it on burns before. It stings when you put it on burns, like oven burns. I think, but that's the Great burn, Great when you've got some it? burn. Really, really fantastic. Yeah. So lavender is super. It's people, a super. People quite often say they don't like lavender, they don't like the smell of it, but they've not smelled pure lavender. This smells like, we're gonna. We're not going to do the bottom one yet, because okay. we're, we're at eight minutes and we're going to do ten for Instagram TV. But lavender is, is fab. We love it, don't mm. we? We use it. Yeah. That's an all that it, I order every single month. Yeah, it, we, we do. We use it an awful, awful lot, actually. Yeah. Just lavaderm. Lavaderm. Yeah, my cat had a really bad reaction to like some flea medicine. She had like scabs on her, so we've just used lavaderm spray, yeah. which is actually lavender, frankincense, helichrysum, and um, aloe vera. And I've been spraying it on her, and she loves it. Yeah. And she lets me rub it in, and she's <laughs> getting better. Yeah, so there she we go. Is. That's a quick rundown of the top, the top row of so all the single oils. And I'm going to do another video to go through the blends with you. All right, bye guys.